What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Toad's Worth of Super Mario. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of the page and draw two small circles for the glasses. Let's start on the left side, starting from the very top, come down towards the bottom, and then back up. And leave a small gap in between and draw the same thing on the right. So a line at the top, coming down, and then up. Let's connect the center with a straight line. Now I want to tuck the eyes in behind the glasses. So I'm going to start right at the very top on the left, go up, and draw an oval, coming around, and just pull that in towards the side. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the top, going up, come around, and then in. Let's add two small highlight circles along the top of each eye. And we'll fill the bottom in black. Now the top edge of the mustache will touch the bottom edge of the glasses. So starting along the bottom, let's curve this in and then down in the center. Go back toward that circle, curve this out and then down toward the left and right side. Let's curl up the end of the mustache, going down and then up. Now I'll draw in the bottom of the mustache. Starting back on the left, come down and bend that in. Let's draw one more curve in the center, coming down and then up. Now we're going to go back up to the top and add a curve going across the top of the eyes. Let's start over on the left side, bend this up above the eyes, go across and then down. Now tuck the head in behind the mustache, starting back on the left, go straight down and then bend that in. Now we're going to draw that large oval along the top of the head. Let's start from the left side of the head, bend this out, pull that up. Now we just want to bend that in toward the center along the top. Let's go all the way across, bring that down on the right side, and then tuck that in towards the head. Now in the center of the head, we're going to draw a large circle. Let's start from the very top of the middle, all the way down towards the bottom, Bring that back up towards the top. Now I want to draw the inside edge of two more circles along the side. Let's start on the left, come in, down, and then out. Let's line this up on the right, come around the opposite direction, and then out. Now with the head complete, let's move down and draw on the bow tie. Leave a gap in the center, draw two lines coming down, round out the bottom. From the bottom corners of the knot, draw two straight angle lines coming down and out. And then round up the side, going around and then up underneath the mustache. Now from the side of the bow tie, let's step out and curve the body. We're going to go out and then bend that down. Let's go to the right and do the same thing. From the bottom, let's curve the vest, going up and then in. We're going to leave a gap in the center, line this up on the right side. Now from the inside, draw a straight line going up underneath the bow tie. Let's add a trim along the inside and bottom. So we step out, follow that line coming down, and then curve towards the left, come down on the right side, and then bend that out. Now we're going to go back to the center of the body underneath the bow tie, draw a straight line coming down, angle down towards the left and right side, and then angle this back up and out. Let's add three small circles on the right side of that center line. So we'll start along the top, let's add one along the bottom, and then one more in the center in between. Now we're going to tuck the lower body underneath the vest. From the bottom corners, let's step in. So we'll start on the left, bend this down, almost like a half circle, and pull that up on the right side. 
going back to the corners, then the vest coming down and in towards the body. Now let's tuck the right foot underneath the body. We're going to start in the center, we're drawing oval, coming around, go out towards the right. I'm just going to tuck that in towards the right side of the body. And then we'll layer the left foot in behind. So let's line up the top over on the left side, go out, and just tuck that in. Now we're going to place the right arm in behind the body. Let's we'll start from the very top, bend this out and then down towards the elbow. Bend that back down and then in towards the side of the body. Now halfway between the bottom and the top of the arm, let's add a small curve aiming towards the elbow. Now let's move over and draw the left arm holding the cane. Starting from the top of the body, curve this down and out towards the wrist. And then from the wrist, we're going to curl the thumb, going up and then down. Round up the tip of the thumb and pull that back up. Now you leave a small gap along the outside of the thumb and draw a small oval for the first finger. Let's layer two more fingers underneath, starting from the outside along the bottom, come around and then up. And we'll do that one more time. Now above the hand, we're gonna step up and add a curve, going down and then up. Go back to the outside and draw a half circle, going up and then down. Let's place the step in behind the finger and the thumb, starting from the left, then this in and then down. Starting along the bottom, go out, in, and then out towards the bottom. Let's go back above the thumb, tuck this in, come down towards the bottom. I'm just going to taper this so it gets narrower as we come down towards the bottom point. Now let's finish off the bottom of the arm. Starting from the staff, bend this in and up, cross the palm, step back, bend the arm in behind the body. Let's add a few more spots along the top of the cane. Starting from the very top, we draw a half circle, coming down and up. Let's add two more along the side, coming around and then out. And we'll finish off by signing our art and adding a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. There's Toadsworth from Super Mario. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please give this video a like and share it with all your friends. And if you want to keep drawing with me, then click on this video over here. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.